Well, folks, I had a flat tire. So, I get back to the rear of the truck. It says take the key part out and stick the shaft in. Well, the shaft is located right underneath of here. This wing nut was on here. And this piece of plastic garbage was around that wing nut. The piece of plastic garbage come loose from the wing nut, wing nut and you just spent all the time spinning and spinning this plastic around that nut. So once I cut the plastic off with a chisel, I was able, able to access the jack. Now here's the jack over here, and here's the shaft that you got to stick in to lower the jack to lower the spare tire down. What a piece of garbage. Uh, I'll let you know my experience is lowering this tire down. I finally got the uh, key core out so I could stick this shaft in there. Let you know more. Folks, there is a shaft that runs to the spare tire. You have to take this key core out. You use your ignition key to take this key core out. Well, I played and played with that, and I, finally my wife showed me how to do it. <laughs> yeah. You stick the key in, you turn it, and I was having problems with the key coming back out. Let's do this whenever. Stop. Okay, folks, there's a shaft that runs to the spare tire. You have to take this key assembly out. So you stick your key in. First off, you have to have the right key. You turn it and you pull this section out so you can stick a rod in there to lower the tire down to the ground. Quit flipping it around and have it. There you go. Okay. Folks, behind here is a, a key assembly. You stick your key in, you turn it, and you pull it out. Then you stick a shaft in here to lower the tire down to the ground, supposedly. Everything ain't been working out too well, so we'll see what happens here. Yeah, this side is a little square jobby. That's not the side. That's the side you put that little jobby on. There comes a tire, guys. There it is. There it comes. There's a cable attached to it. This is a 2004. And there it comes. What a beautiful sight when you have a flat tire. It's supposed to lower it down to the ground, but I don't think it's going to go there. Now i got to get a jack jack up on this piece right here to release the tire. Okay. He said he's got to put the jack under there in order to release the tire. I think you have to apply pressure to the tire in order for it to release. Uh, it appears on the internet on some of the YouTube. So I'm going to hit the stop right now. <laughs> 